May 10, 1940 marked a major turning point in Dutch history. In rapid succession, Nazi Germany had invaded Norway, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, and then, of course, finally, the Netherlands. This is the same type that my parents, my father, my mother were deported to a concentration camp, and especially, of course, my two sisters. But they were hidden with a different family, and eventually the husband and wife had a fight, and the husband denounced his wife as hiding two Jewish children, and so the Nazis took his wife and my two sisters. His wife ended up being freed, but my two sisters were sent to Auschwitz, in a cattle car, and they were killed just a few days later, early in 1944. I was left as a nine-month-old child First, with my mother's neighbor, Annie Madna. Annie then got scared and passed me off to her sister. The sister then also got scared taking care of a Jewish baby, so she gave me back to Annie Madna, who then finally passed me on to her ex-husband, Tole Madna, who happened to be Indonesian. And so I spent the next three and a half years with the Madna family as a fourth child with an Indonesian nanny by the name of Mima Sayina. In 2003, their names were added to this monument to the righteous among the nations in the Netherlands who saved Jews during the Holocaust. There are many names uh, on this uh, monument, but they are the only ones with an Indonesian name. What makes this visit to Yad Vashem very special is that a few months ago I shared the story with 25 students from Indonesia who were visiting the United States through a program at Temple University. We didn't tell them anything about me beforehand, and so the first picture I showed them was of Mima Sayina holding a baby. And I asked the students, what do you see? What you see in this photograph? Indonesian. 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 Indonesian woman, okay. And they said, well, Indonesian woman, you know, she was very, wearing a very traditional Indonesian uh, dress. And then I said, well, what's she holding? What is she holding? <laughs> a baby. A baby. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea as to who that baby might be? And I told them that baby happens to be me. And there was a gasp in the room. I was that baby. I vaguely remember that he, she used to sing a lullaby to me, and it was called Nina Bobo. And all 25 students started singing the lullaby Nina Bobo in perfect unison. All these students from very, very different backgrounds came up to me, hugged me, kissed me, and said that we were all one family. I'm hoping that when we visit Indonesia, we'll have a chance to replicate this experience and share it with many other students and groups so they too will learn about different people, different religions, and the fact that we are all connected. We all help each other, and that's really a very important part of being one human family. <laughs>